Hello, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and today we are going to charge up this air conditioning system with Red Tech. So today we are going to replace the previously installed R134A refrigerant with Red Tech. Now the system has already been evacuated, so we're just going to go ahead and do the recharge. So we've got our, we're going to go with two cans of Red Tech. Uh, we've got our pump. Um, we've got some ester oil, we've got our manifold gauges, so we'll start making the connections. And uh, first we're going to uh, pull a vacuum on the system, hold that for 20 minutes with the pump running, and then turn the pump off and hold the vacuum for another 45 minutes. Once we're good, we've got no leaks, then we'll go ahead and recharge the system with the Red Tech. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get some gloves on and you're also going to use some eye protection while you're doing this. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're going to put a, um, a 134A valve on the low side. So you've got your low side port and your high side port. And we're going to take, these are the original R12 fittings on here, but there's an adapter that you can install on here um, in order to pull a vacuum on the system by using the quick disconnects on the manifold gauges. So here's the low side adapter that we're going to be using. So now we've got our high side hose connected. Um, we don't have an adapter on that one, but you could actually um, get another adapter for this, but you would have to use a low side disconnect for it. We're just going to go ahead and use that for the low side hose and we've connected directly here to the R12 fitting of the high side um, pump hose. So these little adapters also come with a cap so you can just leave it on the car like that. So you've essentially just retrofitted the, uh, the compressor to accept R134 a quick disconnect fittings which we're not going to be using R134A, but this is just more convenient for whatever refrigerant we're putting in. We just happen to be putting in the Red Tech. So, so we have our quick disconnect fitting installed for the R134. What you do is you just run down and it just snaps in place. It's really easy. So we've got our manifold gauges all connected together and we have our outlet size, eva outlet side evacuation hose connected to the inlet of the pump. We'll just go ahead and connect. I use a, a vacuum so we don't get oil vapor on the cars, a vacuum hose right here. And I just kind of um, route that out somewhere further away from the vehicle. So this pump is an oil pump. If you have an oilless one, even better. Um, but this is just the cheap one I got on Amazon. So once you have everything connected, just go ahead and turn the pump on. And then you open up your manifold gauges so there's the low side valve so you're opening that valve up and then the high side you're opening that valve up and you can see the needles start to go below zero because you're pulling a vacuum on the system so that's what we're doing right now is pulling the vacuum on the system here are the two cans of red tech that we're going to be using so the recommendation is to run the pump when you're evacuating the system for a minimum of 20 minutes and I have another video on how to evacuate the system um, but we're just going to repeat the, the process here okay so once the 20 minutes is up go ahead and close off your manifold gauges first before you turn off the pump then you turn off the pump and you hold the vacuum on the system for 45 minutes. So I was having an issue with this one. Um, it might not be good, but it was leaking a little bit. So I went ahead and just connected directly to the R12 port with the hose, with the low side hose. So we will hold the vacuum for 45 minutes and just verify there's no leaks on the system. I'm gonna come back and do a recharge. Okay, so now we are going to connect the can tapper to the can of Red Tech that we're gonna be using to recharge the system. So you've got a threaded end here 
and there's your tapper in there so you'll just screw it on loosen it first You gotta make sure that the tapper is fully in the open position. And you go ahead and thread it on. Don't tap it yet. You're just gonna touch at the top of the can. Don't over tighten it. Just make sure it's good and solid. So our next step is we've disconnected the yellow hose from the pump and now we're going to connect it to uh, a can of red tech that we've threaded the can tapper to. Let's go ahead and do that. Hand tightening is, is good enough. You don't need to use a tool to tighten it anymore. Now, right now we've got our manifold gauge in the closed position and we'll keep that in the closed position until we're ready to start recharging the system. So we're going to go ahead and pierce the can now. So just turn it clockwise. Okay, so now the can is tapped, okay? And we've got our manifold gauge on the low side closed. We're actually gonna introduce the refrigerant from the can through the pump hose into the low side hose, into the low side of the compressor. And we're gonna do that first without the AC running, just to achieve a minimum charge then what we're going to do is uh, run the AC system to get the remaining refrigerant into the system and then go ahead and add another can after that. So we're going to go ahead and, and open this up. So that's open. And we're going to slowly open up our refrigerant. You can see the needle going up. So now we've achieved minimum pressure on the recharge. We're going to go ahead and start the engine. So turn the AC on. We've got the AC going. So right now we are charging the remainder of this can of refrigerant in there. You can feel the holes to make sure it's cold. Cold here, cold here. So we've got a, a clear path of the refrigerant going in. So We've already got our first can in, now we're going to go ahead and load up the second can. So do the same process, and this is in the open position. Connect your pump hose, and then tap the second can. your low side manifold gauge. And then slowly open it up. And we're jumpering the AC. Okay, so 
He's checking to make sure that the AC is actually blowing cold. And after about two cans of the Red Tech, you could go two and a quarter. But we're gonna try two cans at first. And if we need to top it off, we'll just top it off later. Sometimes it's difficult to know if the can is empty, but as long as the fittings are cold and you can tell that the hoses are cold and you can almost feel a flow going through this. When that stops, everything warms back up again, then you know you're out of refrigerant in this can. Now we've got both cans in. All you gotta do now is disconnect your hoses and replace the caps and you're good to go. So we started up the car and we're running the AC. The compressor's not cycling. We've got good pressure in the system. The car's blowing really cold right now with the Red Tech. It's a pretty warm day today. This is feeling pretty good. Again, we only use two cans. They recommend a little over two cans, like two and a third or two and a quarter, maybe even two and a half. But what we'll do is we'll see how this works out. And if we need to top it off later, we can top it off later. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching.